This tutorial is going to be going over how to use Adobe Acrobat Reader DC in order to drop a digital signature. So to do this, first you're going to need to download Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. You can do this over at get.adobe.com backslash reader. We'll have a link down below in the description. Once you have your file ready, in this case, I'm going to be using a Texas SOS Statement of Officer form. I'm going to open this with Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. And you're going to see your document come up here like this. I'm still in the trial mode. So in order to do this, with this method, you're going to need to have a signature box already applied to the document. So I'm going to click, and then I'm going to configure a new digital ID. So I'm going to create a new digital ID here at the bottom. I'll press continue, and I'm going to save it to my Apple Keychain, but you can also save it to a file on your computer. Let's change the name on this to match the file in the document, John Jones. And you'll also be inputting an email for this. So, for example, I would use johnjones at gmail.com. There's my digital signature. I'm going to press continue. And you're going to see your digital signature looking like this. Click the sign button. And then you're going to resave the document. So here it is again, signed. And you'll be able to see it like this. When I go back to my finder folder, you can view this document right there. So this is how you drop a digital signature down using Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. And this is useful for if you are filling out a Texas Secretary of State Statement of Officer 4. If you found this tutorial helpful, please follow along, like, and subscribe. We've got more tutorials on the way.